I've always thought of myself as like not a bag person. Um, I just chuck everything in my pockets, which is probably why I have so many overalls. And yeah, but it's coming to the point where I just keep losing my driver's license because I don't know which pair of pants are in. I really shouldn't put everything in pockets. I keep misplacing everything. So today I have finally got a bag. Today is a very exciting video because I have been gifted a bag which I can't wait to open. This is going to be a bit of an unboxing and a styling video and yeah, I'm basically going to show you how to style a bold handbag. I say bold because I know the colour is going to be super vibrant. Now I don't normally do a lot of videos on gifted items, I would be pretty picky and choosy about what I'm going to film. Although also nobody ever asked me. This is basically one of my first like gifted items that I am doing a video on. So I just thought I'd make it as like a little bonus video. Show you the bag in question, which is from the brand Kinds of Grace. Kind of Grace? Kind of Grace. Kinds of Grace. Got it. So basically, uh, Kinds of Grace is an ethically made vegan label from Melbourne, um, Australia represent, and they put 20% of the proceeds to environmental and animal protection organizations. So I was like, yes, I will have a lovely bag that is also vegan and goes with all my morals. So I'm going to unbox this and then do some styling for you. So yes, they let me choose whatever bag and I gravitated towards one in particular and yeah, I will also have a code down in the description if you want to have a look or buy one. And yeah, I'm trying to open this and also seem chill about it. Oh, didn't even need scissors. Okay, so yes, it comes in this nice box. Kinds of grace, cruelty free. Oh, you can't see it. Cruelty free and vegan. Um, so we got this paper in the bag. Thank you to the lovers of ethical fashion. Thank you for supporting my debut collection. My desire with this range is to express the wild beauty of nature's creature. I knew I would stuff up on a word. Nature's creatures in vivid color. I sucked at reading out loud in school. Well, thanks, Grace. Now inside we have this bag, uh, which is like a I don't know, a cover on top of the real back. Oh, pretty. This one should probably go with my hair, but uh, this, oh, I'm trying to, yep. Here is the back, oh my goodness. Now this isn't like my regular style, but I do really appreciate the color and it looks super cool. Like, how could I not get orange? I've been planning on either going pink, which I just did, or orange in my hair, and this is just the combo of both of them. So, yay! Uh, let's do the little tour of it. Um, throw that bag away. Uh, I guess it's got, got something in my hand. I guess it's got this strap up the top so you can hold it like this. And all the gold detailing. Please don't look at my fingernails. They are so gross. And I guess you just, pop it open like that yes and then inside we have a strap if we want the strap cute and also a bunch of paper on the inside it's like this color which is good so you don't lose anything I hate it when it's black inside and it's like a deep pit so it's got like little things for my phone I guess and also, this little logo thing that I could clip on the front, I suppose. I will just pop it back. And also, it's got a zip pocket. So, yay! That is a bag. Smells fresh, smells new. Got little feet on the bottom. And honestly, I would probably use the strap most of the time because I'm more of a strap gal. Um, my problem with bags, though, is that always too long or like straps full of my shoulders because I have non-existent shoulders so <laughs> we'll see how this goes while I style it but uh yeah again I have this linked down below but let's get into the styling Thank you. 
So that is how I would style uh, this bag right here and also just a few outfits for bonus outfits for this week. So um, let me know what you liked out of the outfits. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like or subscribe. And until next time, keep wondering, why do I always do the peace sign?